Being part of the UK, we had 300 years of peace and no wars. Dr. David, have you been drinking, my dear fellow? Yes. What do you call the First World War? What do you call the Second World War? What do you call the Battle of Trafalgar? What do you call the Battle of the Nile? What do you call the Battle of Abu Ghraib? Bay? What do you call the Battle of Cape St. Vincent? What do you call the Battle of Jena, 1806? What do you call the Battle of Leipzig, 1813? What do you call the Battle of Waterloo? What do you call the Hundred Years' War? What do you call the Seven Years' War? Yeah? What do you call the Aden Emergency? What do you call the Borneo Emergency? What do you call the Korean War finishing in 1953? Uh, what do you call India? What do you call Burma? What do you call the rise of the Mau Mau in British East Africa in the 1950s? Uh, what do you call the Boer War in 1900? The Second Boer War, the first one in 1888, second one in 1900 to 1903. Um, now, these are just a few wars. What do you call the Troubles in Ireland? So let's read your quote again. Being part of the UK, we had 300 years of peace and no wars. So, Dr. David, where are you standing now? I always let my prisoners go. <laughs> right, there we go. Thank you very much. Yes, the Orange Order was formed in the same year as the Diamond. So the Diamond was 1795 coming up for 1800. There's another battle. Yes, indeed, for uh, for Dr. David's peace. Morning, Duke of the Dundee. Good morning, Onion Badgie. How lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do. That's what I say to you. Uh, what do we call the risings of 1715 and 1745? What do we call the Battle of Culloden? In 1746, is that another non-war? There we are. What do we call the Second World War from 39 to 45? Another non-war? There we are. Oh, yes, the UK is a peaceful place. The 12th of July parades will be around for many, many years to come. 